Well, the mother of all tribute band festivals is back this weekend after a two year pause. Hair Fest 10 kicks off this Friday in Canby, and with it comes big hair, leather <laughs> pants, rock and roll. The classics. Of the, the trifecta, it's all you need. Joining us live right now with a preview of the big event is festival organizer Jason Fellman. Good morning, Jason. Good morning. Good morning. Like, we're great to see us. the weather's looking good for the weekend. Yes, yes for the yeah, weekend, Hair Fest will be perfectly time to get the leather sticking to you and the hair all a mess. So, <laughs> for those of us who might not have ever heard of Hair Fest, what is the concept behind this festival? Obviously, just besides rocking out and having fun. Sure, it's a, it's the mother of all tribute festivals. So we have 23 tribute bands ranging from tributes to Janis Joplin, to Beastie Boys, to Def Leppard, to Journey, to Blondie, to Duran Duran, you name it. Uh, we've got it on the bill. Three stages, two days, overnight camping, food, a great festive vibe. It's at the Clackamas County Fairgrounds. And for the first time, uh, and we are celebrating our 10 year anniversary this year. So after two years of a, of a COVID layoff, we are finally getting to have our 10 year birthday. First of all, congratulations happy birthday. To, to the 10 year happy birthday. Absolutely. So to that point, you know, you, you had to take two years off. So this actually started in 2010. Um, how did this all come together now? Uh, you know, I guess 12 years ago, but 10 years of festivals. Yeah, I mean, it really started out as a, as a uh, behind the wild hair saloon with the, mm -hmm. the owner there, Joan Monin, and I started this together. And we run this together, just a, a small party out back with three bands and people came and had a great time. And honestly, it just grew organically in the community of tribute bands. I mean, I think people have seen in, in uh, Portland, there, there's a tribute band scene here. And so it's kind of been sort of the cornerstone of that scene. And honestly, just has grown organically. We're expecting about 4,500 people a day this year. And uh Oh, oh, close to 2,000 people spending the night at the fairgrounds camping this weekend. Wow. That, yeah. oh, I mean, it just sounds like the best time. You mentioned some of the acts that will be tributed for. <laughs> I don't even know if that will be I honored. think that's about right, yeah. Yeah, um, <laughs> but we'll talk about the tribute bands taking part. Are there any ones that we would have would have seen out here in Portland? Well, you've probably seen most of them. Um, you know, some of the highlights, of course, are the Guns N' Roses tribute band, Appetite for Deception, um, who has been there nine out of the 10 years. They were on the world's greatest tribute band show. We have the legendary Randy Hansen, uh, who is uh, the recognized as the world's number one Jimi Hendrix uh, tribute artist, uh, playing a new feature this year we call Hair Stuck which is the festival within the festival. We're doing a little mini witch talk with tributes to uh, Hendrix, Creedence Clearwater Revival, and Janis Joplin. So that's wow. Saturday during the day. And that Saturday is crazy. So Friday night, music starts at, at, at 5 and goes till 1 a.m. And Saturday, it starts up at 9 a.m. and goes all the way till 1 a.m. with very few breaks. <laughs> Whoa, that is wild. What a blast, yeah. though. Uh, going over some of the, the logistics real quick, you know, like you mentioned, people can camp out there at the festival. Um, what, what is the process to be able to do that? Do you have to get a permit or can you just kind of show up and, and, and camp on the fairgrounds? Great question. Yeah, you definitely want to do this in advance. All of the RV spaces sold out months ago, over 300 RVs on site. They sold out. Um, but uh, you, you, what you do is you get a camping pass at our website. There's no per tent fee. So all you have to have to camp at Hairfest is to buy an overnight pass. And if you look at our website, hairfest.com, you can see the spelling here on my shirt. Um, then uh, you'll, you'll see some of the instructions for arrival and such. But tent camping is still available. And, the, and, the, and one of the neat things about the Clackamas County Fairgrounds is they have like a really legit tree line shaded built as a campground campground. So tent campers will be able, pretty comfortable this year. Awesome. And I'm um, assuming it's the same website for tickets. Yes, you basically, uh, airfest.com uh, is, is the perfect clearinghouse for all things. And the main thing we encourage, is, especially for people who have been there before, um, whether you have or not, is to check the website and read the FAQ. You know, it's a festival. The festival world evolves every year in terms of like the types of bags you can bring and when you check in and those types of things. So it's really important to uh, to read the website carefully before you show up so you know what the, what the deal is. That's awesome. That's going to be so much fun. Uh, real quick before we let you go, I just have to know out of all the bands that take the stage, how, how much of that hair is real and how much of it is wig? Does anybody show up with the real hair still able to, to, to headbang or is it all You know what? Out? It's probably... 
it's probably about 50 50 with the bands the, the two that are really striking are uh mark thomas from appetite for deception the guns and roses the axle and frank murray from tom petty both of those guys that is their real hair they look like those people naturally. love that Amazing. i love that all right we got to keep an eye out for them if you're headed out that way Hairfest organizer jason feldman thank you so much for taking the time have so much fun this weekend appreciate the preview Bye. Thanks so much, you guys. All right, take care. And Hairfest 10 again happening this Friday and Saturday at the uh, Clackamas County Fairgrounds in Canby. This is a 21 years up and older event. So, again, for those tickets, go to hairfest.com.